more blocks in scratch chapter focus scratch components positioning the sprite on the stage program in scratch you learned about scratch in prior course scratch is a software that facilitates the creation of several games multiple versions of scratch exist the most recent version of scratch is 3.0 It is a programming language designed for children to understand the basics of computer programming. You are aware that scratch blocks fall into various types. Each block serves a distinct purpose. Let's recollect some past responsibilities and examine these building blocks in depth. Scratch components. Look at the scratch screen and its components. You have the menu bar, go button, tabs, script, stop button, stage area, backdrop, sprite, coding area, sprites info pane and the block menu. Based on their functions, the blocks in scratch are separated into various groups. Each category has a variety of functional blocks. Trivia. Drag and drop programming refers to the method of programming in which code is constructed with blocks snippet scratch comes with a built-in paint and sound editor fact hunt scratch can easily run on different operating systems including windows mac os and linux let's learn about them motion blocks looks sound events control sensing operators variables my blocks now let us understand what is a motion block motion bricks are colored blue they are used to control the movement or motion of a sprite including adjusting the sprite's x and y coordinates on the stage causing the sprite to bounce if it contacts the edge of the stage etc they are solely utilized for sprites not backgrounds let's learn more about them now you have different blocks move 10 steps what does it do it moves the sprite forward or backward you have turn 15 degrees it rotates the sprite clockwise You have again anti clockwise turn 15 degrees what does it do it rotates the sprite anti clockwise next block go to random position this sprite moves to the location of the mouse pointer or another sprite next block go to x 0.45 5 15 It moves the sprite to a specified x and y position on the stage. Glide 1 second to random position. It moves the sprite smoothly to a random position or to the location of the mouse pointer. Glide 1 second to x.45 y15. It moves the sprite smoothly to a specific position. over a specified length of time point in direction 90 degrees makes the sprite pointer in a specific direction 0 equal to up 90 equal to right 180 is equal to down minus 90 is equal to left point towards mouse pointer makes the sprite point towards the mouse pointer and another sprite one more block If on edge bounds it turns the sprite in the opposite direction when it touches the edge of the stage then you have set rotation style left right it sets the face direction of the sprite to move left right or in all directions then you have the direction block reports the sprite's direction 0 equal to up 90 equal to right 180 down minus 90 is equal to left 
Then we have Lux blocks. Lux blocks have purplish color. They are used to regulate a sprite size, position and appearance as well as the appearance of a backdrop. Some of them can only be used with sprites but most of them may be used with both. Say hello for 2 seconds. It displays the sprite speech bubble for a specified amount of time. Say hello displays the sprite speech bubble. We can remove the speech bubble by running this block without any text. Think hmm, for 2 seconds. Displays the sprite's thought bubble for a specified amount of time. Think hmm, displays the sprite's thought bubble. Switch costume to costume 2. Changes the sprite's appearance by switching to a different costume. Next backdrop. Changes the current costume to the next costume in the costume list. If it is at the end of the costume list, it jumps back to the first costume. Switch backdrop to backdrop 1. Changes the stage's appearance by switching to a different backdrop. Clear graphic effect. It clears all the graphic effects assigned to a sprite. Change color. Effect by 25. Changes the visual effect assigned to a sprite by a specified amount. Use the drop down menu to choose the effect. Show. Makes the sprite appear on the stage. Hide. It makes the sprite hide on the stage. Go forward one layer. It moves the sprite backwards and forward by a number of layers. Tidbit. The name of the sprite can be changed by clicking inside the box that displays the sprite's name. What is a sound block? The color of the sound block is magenta. They are employed to manage a project's audio features. They are utilized for both backdrops and sprites. The first one is play sound meow until done. So this will play the chosen music until the duration of the music is complete. Start sound meow starts it starts playing a sound selected from the drop down menu and immediately moves on to the next block even when the sound is still playing. Stop all sounds. Now this will stop playing all the sounds. Change pitch effect by 10. The change changes the sprite's pitch volume by a specified amount and the pitch ranges from 0 to 100. Set pitch effect to 100. It sets the sprite's pitch range. Clear sound effects. It clears all the sound effects. Set volume to 100%. It sets the sprite's sound volume to a specified value. Volume. It reports the sprite's sound volume. Even blocks. The color of the even blocks is pale yellow. They are used to direct actions, start the script, produce the desired results. They are crucial to each project. Running numerous scripts at once is challenging if they are not used. They are utilized for both backdrops and sprites. When green flag is clicked, it runs the script given below when the green flag is clicked. When space key is pressed, it runs the script given below when a specified key is pressed. When this sprite is clicked, it runs the script given below when a sprite is clicked. When backdrop switches to backdrop 1, it runs the script given below it when the backdrop changes to a specified backdrop. When I receive message 1, it activates the script given below it when the specified broadcast has been sent. Broadcast message 1. It sends a message to all the scripts of the project. Broadcast message 1 and wait. It sends a message to all sprites triggering them to do something and wait until they are done before moving on to the next block. Control blocks. 
Gold color characterizes control blocks. They are used to manage the scripts, loops, and conditions. When paired with the blocks for variables and operators, they can significantly improve the effectiveness and efficiency of our code. They are utilized for both backdrops and sprites. Block 1. Wait one second. Description. It pauses the script for a particular amount of time. Repeat 10. It repeats the given set of blocks a specified number of times before moving further. Forever runs the given blocks of code if the condition is true. It ignores the given blocks of code if the condition is false and moves to the next script. Stop all. Stops all scripts in all sprites. Positioning the sprite on the stage. The scratch stage is 360 pixels tall and 480 pixels wide. It is composed of X and Y grids. The X value, which ranges from minus 240 to 240, specifies the horizontal location of the sprite, while the Y value, which goes from 180 to minus 180, determines the vertical location or stage height. The stage center is located at X and Y coordinates of 0, 0. By moving the mouse pointer on the stage and noting the change in the displayed coordinates, we can determine the X and Y positions of Sprite. Quick tip. To delete a box, right click on a block in the script area and choose delete block option from the menu. Changing the Sprite's position on the stage. The steps to change the Sprite's position on the stage are as follows. Step 1. Drag the change x by 10 block on the stage and change the value 10 to 100. Step 2. Drag the change y by 10 block on the stage and change the value 10 to 50. Step 3. Click on any of the blocks. The sprite will change the position according to the coordinates given. Program and scratch. Create the following programs and check the output. Number 1. When green flag clicked, Forever, next costume, wait one second, next costume. Program 2, when green flag clicked, set volume to 100%, play sound, meow, until done, change fish eye, effect by 25. Program 3, when green flag clicked, forever, point towards mouse pointer, Move 10 steps, if on edge, bounce. Let's have a quick chapter recap. Codes that are dragged into a project to construct a script are called as blocks. Scratch contains various categories of blocks. The motion blocks are used to provide sprites, movement and motion. Motion bricks are the blocks that are used to control the movement of a sprite. Look blocks determine the appearance of a sprite on stage. Sound blocks control the functions of sound. Using sound blocks, our scratch project may include music. Events blocks determine how a script's blocks will execute in response to a specific action. Control events and script execution are prevented. Control blocks govern the execution of scripts within a project. They contain looping blocks which are utilized when identical blocks must be repeated multiple times. The X and Y coordinates of a sprite indicates its position on the stage.